you do the intro now. Um, this is Charlie Parsons for Boxing Social in association with William Hill and Empire Fight Store. We, uh, we started the recording and then it cut out on us, don't know why. It's a lovely September afternoon, we've got the uh, horses over there, or ponies, or I don't really know what they are, don't really care too much. Maisie Rose Courtney, how are we mate? I'm all good. Charlie, how are you? Very well, thank you. Always good to see you. Um, I said to Connor, iron sharpens iron, that is definitely the phrase that's used in this gym. Um, happy with how things are going? Yeah, well happy. I'm knackered, but I'm happy, you know. Gym's hard, it's hard work being around boys like that, do you know what I mean? They're good and it's pushing me and all of this and I'm shattered, mate. I just need to lay down. <laughs> I was going to say, Joey picked me up at half twelve and I, I'd probably got up at ten and that, that was quite an early start for me. Um, I opened my Instagram and seen that you lot were doing like steps and hill sprints and all this sort of scandalous stuff at like 6 a.m., 7 a.m. But I suppose that's going to make the best out of you. You got up at 10. I got up at, I think it was quarter, five, quarter past five today, got up. Knackered, mate, but it's worth it. You know, I travelled about an hour and a half to get to Leon C Steps, run up in 10 times with George Lidard and all the rest of the boys. And yeah, that's what makes you a champion, though. You know, like I said the other day, it was, um, it's all in the blueprint and it's worked before and it'll work again. Speaking to your dad as well, and I was like, look, surely you'd rather this than you out on the piss every weekend or something like that. And he said, absolutely. At first, he, uh, you know, the thought of you being the only girl in here was a bit intimidating. But the way that you get on with everyone, and actually, there probably will be a time where another girl, well, there's a few girls in there as we speak, but there'll be someone else and it'll be you showing them the ropes. That must be quite exciting. Yeah, it is exciting. It's always good to be the first person to do anything, you know? Like, I was the first person in my first ever amateur, ever amateur gym and one of the first girls, Santa Repton, and now the first girl to box out of match from elite gym. And, yeah, it's always good to be a benchmark, you know, but then people come down here and they're, like, having a look, saying, oh, Macy's the girl to beat, you know what I mean? Macy's the girl to knock out, Shit but... <laughs> it was trying to take my head off but no that's what I want that's what I like and that's what I feel like do you know what I mean I feel um, honoured to be in that position to be the first woman to be put through the graph that we get put down that get put through down here do you know what I mean so yeah it's been through you with every step of your career I was just speaking to George Liddard as well it's been quite intense for the time that you lot have been pro it's sort of fair to say that you're quite seasoned now within the game given the time that you have turned over a lot of activity in a short amount of time but I suppose that's really what any young fighter wants with matchroom. Yeah of course you want to be busy you want to be getting out five six times a year you know if you're sitting boxing two three times a year it's, it's not busy enough you don't earn enough money to be able to box that few times a year unless you've signed an unreal deal but I know I ain't signed no unreal deal <laughs> do you know what I mean but um no I like being busy I like boxing loads I like getting out as much as possible. You know, I could probably box 20 times a year if I wanted to, but they won't let me do that. They wouldn't pay me that much money. But um, yeah, I like being busy, so does George. Um, moving forward now, September 30, back out again. Um, feels like only yesterday that you boxed. Another intense camp. Will you be having a break after this one? Probably not. Okay. I think after my last fight, August 12th, I think I sat down for a pro like half an hour I had to sit down for and I got a call saying I'm back in camp. Do you know what I mean? Back, sat down to relax. Kev's like, oh, we're emotional, whatever he says. How but, many words un did you understand? I don't understand a word he <laughs> says, to be honest with you. Like, I don't know. It works. It works. Don't understand That's him. All that That's all that matters. But yeah, straight home, straight out again. Do you know what I mean? Boxed. How many weeks ago was it? Five? Six? Six well, weeks ago? Not, yeah, not long ago. Not long? I want to get on the Kate Taylor card. And then that'll be me done for the year, I think. Let me pick up on August 12th, Maze, because special occasion fighting on the Anthony Joshua card, one. Um, but two, fair to say, uh, a career best performance against a tough, tough girl in there. Quite a step up for you as well. Um, processing all of that, special? Yeah. Boxing in my hometown was the most, like, memor memorial? Memorable? Memorable. Memorial. Not memorial, memorable. Memorial. Mem mem anyways, memorable? Mate, I've had... Uh, no, memorable, had memorable. The most memorable That's experience it. to Mate, date. I've had Keb in my ear all day. That's why I can't speak properly. But, yeah, that Lucky was... Lucky you're a boxer and not a writer, right? 
<laughs> but yeah, that's the most, that's the bit that meant the most to me, boxing at the O2. It's my home ground, you know, and boxing on an Anthony Joshua card and having a really good performance, it means a lot to me. And I'm very proud of myself for doing that. You know, I always know that's how I box. I box classy, I box on a back foot, I counter punch, you know, and I didn't let my demon come out of me, you know, and trying to chin someone that's in front of me. I didn't let it come out at that time, a little bit, almost, almost, but I didn't. And that's it, stuck to the plan. September 30th will happen again, yeah. Just finally from me, um, I've got to ask you, you say you want to get on that Katie Taylor undercard again. Um, boxed there last time, 20th of May, what an occasion it was. Um, the rematch has been penciled in, same place, same weight. Any different this time? I don't know. Chantel's big, Chantel's strong, Chantel shocked me last time. You know, I'm a Katie Taylor fan, do you know? Like, she's my hero and all of that, but when Chantel come out and she did what she did to Katie Taylor after the third round, I was like, I switched teams. I felt like a traitor. But she shocked me and she, um, she done what she had to do to beat Katie. You know, Katie's coming from a loss, which the first time it's ever happened to her in her professional career, in front of her hometown. Her ego and her, like her um, legacy has been damaged, even though people don't believe it is. I don't believe it has, but in herself she'll believe that. You know, and that on its own will either drive you or break you as a um, professional fighter, you know. So, Chantel could beat her again, could get a knockout. That could be shocking, wouldn't it? But if Katie Taylor is who Katie Taylor is, you know, she always comes back, like, wanting it. She, she could beat her as well. I don't know. I just want to get on the undercard. That's all you care about. <laughs> just finally from me, um, Connor Ben. We know that he's one of the people that make this happen for you. It looks like we could be seeing his ring return next week in Orlando. Um, how much does that mean to you and the team? Oh, it's massive. You know, ever since everything's been cleared and it's like a weight's been lifted off the gym's shoulders, let alone Connor's shoulders, like the whole gym. You know, we feel things as a team. We um, go through stuff as a team and him being my sponsor as well, it's like, I don't know, it's just this weight has just been lifted. And now for him to fight, next week is it? 23rd potentially in Orlando it's huge it's what he drives for it's what he works for you know he's um, even if he didn't have a fight date he was still waking up and smashing everyone at the stairs in the triangle you know I'm like at the back and I'm hearing him grunting behind me do you know and I'm like mate you ain't even got a fight date why are you running so fast like <laughs> calm down do you know what I mean but he's a champion he's old school and yeah I'm so happy to see him back Maisie always good fun to see you good speaking to you um I imagine the next time will now will be September 30 fight week. Final message to your fans and supporters, because you've got a lot now. I don't know. I said last time I'd buy you a pair of trainers. Yeah, this know. time I think I'm going to buy you a pair of socks, because it looks like you ain't got no one. I've got socks on. I have got socks on. Am I getting these trainers? Of course you are. What size are you for? Funny, I'm, at, I'm a nine. Are you sure, Parsons? I'm sure. I'll buy you some socks and some trainers. September 30th. Deal. All right, I like that.